what, what, what is that? You're thinking about moving to New Braunfels? Hey, I can't say I'd blame you. Rolling hills, stunning views, rivers, but hold on one second, hold on. Here are 10 things you must know before moving to New Braunfels. Number 10 on my list is our ultra active outdoor lifestyle. Our two rivers, without our two rivers, the Guadalupe and Comal, Things would be pretty quiet in New Braunfels, but our rivers are our gems. They're a big reason over 2 million tourists visit New Braunfels every single year. There's tubing, there's canoeing, kayaking, swimming, there's fishing. On top of all that, you can get completely soaked at our huge water park Schlitterbahn. Out of the water, there's biking, we have hiking trails. Our main park, Landa Park, which is surrounded by the Comal Springs, is a place where families gather, especially on the weekends or days off from school or work. Very scenic and very shaded with our huge oak trees. You can play volleyball at Landa Park or you can tee it up on the golf course at Landa Park. And I'm gonna stretch a bit here and include deer in number 10 because they're part of our landscape in New Braunfels. It's very common to see deer walking around or sitting on your front lawn during the day, especially in the hill country area and wide open spaces. Which leads me to number nine on the list. New Braunfels is just wide. Geographically, we're 45 square miles. So you could say we're spread out. 70% of our residents live in the main zip code 78130, but still spread out. And 30% live in the hill country where you're more spread out because you're on an acre or more of land. So our sheer size just gives you that all kinds of living options. It also gives you spectacular views. We're not Wyoming or Idaho, which has about six or seven people, literally a square mile, but we're not Austin or San Antonio either, but we are smack dab in the middle of Austin, San Antonio, which geographically gives us an advantage. Number eight on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is that in New Braunfels, we've got all kinds of historical charm. You should know that many of our buildings date back to the 1800s, right around the time New Braunfels was founded in 1845 by Prince Solms of Braunfels, Germany. So our structures are a daily reminder of our history, and so is this tree at Landa Park. It started off as a seed in 1700, so it's 321 years old. New Braunfels has a throwback circle drive with a charming gazebo right in the center. We have the oldest bakery in Texas. We have the oldest dance hall in Texas. We have a hardware store that stood the test of time. Our city leaders and business owners really do a fantastic job of preserving our historical charm. It's so tidy and clean downtown and also in green, where you'll find more old world charm in our historical district of green here, including our general store antique shops and our rustic restaurants right off the banks of the Guadalupe River. So lots of living history in New Braunfels. All right, number seven on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels. I gotta warn you here because depending on where you're coming from, which state, number seven may come as a shock. And that's because many of our families who come here and visit first, this is their first and last takeaway. So number seven is the friendly people of New Braunfels. Two quick examples for you. We had a family come in right before Christmas. We were walking at Landa Park and two different sets of families said hi to my family's visiting without being solicited. Another story, more recently, a family came to town, they were at Bucky's doing some shopping and they accidentally bumped into another family and they thought, oh my God, this person's gonna yell at me. That person did not yell at them. They actually apologized and smiled. So people in New Braunfels are genuinely friendly and welcoming. You know, maybe just maybe people are so friendly in New Braunfels because of number six on my list of things you must know before you move to New Braunfels. Number six is we have so many places to eat in New Braunfels. And a lot of our food reflects our German and Hispanic heritages. Though I gotta tell you, if you really want German food like they serve up in Germany, you have to try the Alpine House in downtown New Braunfels. Many call this place the best German food outside Germany. In fact, many compare it to the food in Germany. I mentioned our oldest bakery in Texas, Naglin's Bakery, also in downtown New Braunfels. Been around 153 years. Strudel is the favorite there. Apple, peach, or cherry. Fork and Spoon Restaurant has the best French toast in town. Of course, our barbecue is the staple in New Braunfels and in Texas. No shortage of places serving up barbecue in New Braunfels. 
Brisket is also huge here too. Where you're from, you may have a hard time getting your hands on brisket because of the lack of availability in the grocery stores, or it's just priced so high, but not here in New Braunfels. Our grocery store, our food trucks, our restaurants, just pack in these beef cuts for all of your cooking needs and it won't break your bank either. In New Braunfels, you'll never say, where's the beef? It's a good thing we have number five to walk off all the calories we just talked about. So number five on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is events. We have a lot of events in New Braunfels. The granddaddy of all celebrations in New Braunfels is the Worst Fest every November. Worst Fest is the celebration of our German heritage. We have a Christmas parade, we have a county fair parade, and a 4th of July parade. We celebrate our Hispanic heritage with our Day of the Dead weekend festival every October. We have Wassel Fest, when the community comes out for a night of food, shopping, and sampling Wassel, which is hot apple cider mixed with spices. There's old green market days with all the local vendors on select weekends in green. We have our farmer's market every Saturday in downtown New Braunfels. We observe Martin Luther King Day with speeches and marches throughout downtown New Braunfels the third Monday of every January. Our local Lions Club organization lines the streets of downtown with American flags every Memorial Day, 4th of July, Patriots Day, and Veterans Day. All of these different events and happenings really give you that sense of pride in community. Number four on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is our lower cost of living here. When you compare it to the rest of the country and especially when you roll in all of the amenities our city has to offer. The biggest number in the cost of living equation is housing and housing in New Braunfels is affordable. In fact, 56% of our homes sold in the past year sold for between $200,000 and $299,000, and another 25% of our homes sold between $300,000 and $399,000. So really, most of our homes sell between $200,000 and $400,000, and our property taxes here are some of the lowest in South Central Texas. What's keeping our housing so affordable is a, a lot of new housing communities where homes start in the low to mid twos, and that's for three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And I just can't remember the last time I paid over $2 for a gallon of gas, and our utilities in New Braunfels are cheaper as well. I did an entire video on the actual cost of living in New Braunfels, and I put the link in the description below. Number three on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is our strong schools. We have two public school districts serving about 30,000 students, and we have new schools popping up wherever there's a huge demand for housing. We have private schools as well. We have graduation rates higher than the state average, and many of our students go on to achieve their certificates and degrees, which helps feed our regional workforce. I did another video on how to find the best schools in New Braunfels. I put that link as well in the description below. Number two on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is our nightlife. There's always something happening in New Braunfels. We've got live music at Green Hall and other venues, including the Phoenix Saloon, River Road Ice House, Krause's Beer Garden and Cafe. We love to hoot, holler, and scoot our boots to live music in New Braunfels. We've got an amphitheater where we host local and national bands on the banks of the Guadalupe River. As much as we like to hoot and holler, we also like to shop till we drop in New Braunfels, and we do it because we can. Our wide variety of restaurants matches our wide variety of shopping. We have everything from small business retail to the big box stores at Creekside, and Creekside is the game changer. It's the reason we don't have to drive to San Antonio or Austin to shop. On top of that, right across the street from Creekside is our newer shopping district called Fry Height Village. More specialty shops and restaurants, bars, exercise places, you name it. Our vibrant business community adds almost 1,000 new jobs in New Braunfels every year since 2003. So number one on my list of things you must know before moving to New Braunfels is we've got plenty of shopping. But there is a bonus thing you must know before moving to New Braunfels. There's only one S in New Braunfels. So there you go. If you were paying attention, you're now ready to move to New Braunfels. But 
If you need more information about living in New Braunfels, I put the video links in the description below. And if you're considering now making that move to New Braunfels, I would love to be your real estate agent of choice. You can email me, you can call me, or you can shoot me a text. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.